Whenever a bet is made in poker, a price is set for the other players to continue in the hand. But the dollar amount of the bet is only half the equation. We must weigh it against our reward. Introducing pot odds. Pot odds is the relationship between risk, the money to call, and reward, the money already in the pot. If the pot is 50 and our opponent bets 25, then our risk is 25 and our reward is 75. Therefore, our odds are 75 to 25, or 3 to 1. Pot odds bring into focus how often we need to win the pot to justify calling, betting, or raising. In order to make a profit, we need to be winning the pot at least one for every three times we lose. In other words, we would need to win one out of four times on average. Let's dive a little deeper. With three to one odds, provided we're on the river, when we have 25% equity, our call is exactly break even. To make it a profitable call, we would need equity greater than 25%. Another way to look at it is that our hand would need to be winning against at least one-fourth of our opponent's possible hands, otherwise known as his range. This concept is often lost on poker players, even experienced ones. You may hear them criticize a certain call saying, Um, he probably has you beat there. Oh yeah? Is that so, mustache? Well guess what, you simpleton? That's only the tip of the iceberg. What matters most is exactly how often he has you beat, and how that frequency coincides with the size of the bet and the size of the pot. Whether you or mustache is aware of it or not, pot odds guide every decision that you make at the table. When facing a bet on any street, we need to think in terms of our hand's equity against our opponent's range. If we think our equity exceeds the odds we are getting, then we should continue in the hand. If we don't think that, then we're out on a limb and should usually be folding. On some occasions, we may continue in a hand when we have less equity than that threshold because we have the potential to make a strong hand and win a big pot. You may have seen this described in the past as implied odds, but this, nor its evil twin, reverse implied odds, can stand on their own as teachable concepts. That's because EV, as we've learned in the previous lesson, already accounts for situations where you may make a huge disguised hand and win a big pot, or make a big hand but get coolered by a bigger one. There are other times where you should fold a hand despite your equity justifying a call simply because you can't fully realize the equity of that hand. For example, pocket sevens on jack 10-3. This hand often folds the turn and doesn't reach showdown anyway. Finally, along with equity and pot odds, we must always consider our hand's playability. Playability refers to our ability to realize our equity and our ability to bluff. The earlier we are in a hand, the more we will value playability over immediate equity. Alternatively, if we are on the river facing an all-in, then equity is the only factor to consider.